my life to Jesus. I'll go with him each day. great thrills for me, Des, was when we were working on Journal of Songstress and you said, I want to do this song. And it took me back to a story I've heard over and over because though I was part of the story, I was too young to know it. But as the story goes, I, I was the baby of seven kids and my mom and dad both worked. And one morning my mom was going out to pick up the milk off of the front door step and the milkman left a note that if he didn't have $5 the next day, he couldn't leave milk. Mm. And my twin brother and I were probably 13, 14 months old, so we were dependent upon that. My dad had been uh, injured because he was, he was a foreman in a big warehouse and he fell off of the dock. Uh, and so he was kind of temporarily out of work. Yeah. Uh, my mom and dad were always very church going folks. And so there was a revival that had started at our church. And though my dad was on crutches and mom had to do most of the work, getting the kids into the car, we still were going to be at revival every night. Yes. And in those days, revival was seven days a week. It wasn't right. three or four <laughs> or five days, you know. But in the service that night, the young man that was the evangelist of the, the revival walks off the platform and comes back to the row my family was seated on, reached over and shook, put his hand out to my dad and shook it. And when he released his hand, dad looked, there was a $5 bill. To, a, to somebody today, that may not make a whole lot of sense that $5 could be so meaningful. Yeah. But when your life depends on it. Right. The yeah. other thing, when he got back to the platform and he, he took the pulpit to minister that night, he said, I talked with pastor and we're going to put a barrel out in front in the foyer of the church and I want people to bring canned goods and dry goods and at the end of the meeting we're going to bless a needy family yeah. one barrel wasn't enough to hold it all so they put another barrel wow. and at the end of the meeting the mcguire family happened to be the needy family 
So a couple men from the church help stuff our trunk full of, of groceries and what couldn't go in there, they put in theirs and they brought it to our house. And my mom and dad stayed up that night trying to find places to put all the food. <laughs> When they finally did find places for the food, mom went to bed and dad couldn't. Yeah. That night, these lyrics were born. Several years later, I got to be the one to write the, the notes to go to these yeah. words. And this, um, in light of that story, this second verse is just, it means the world to me. So sing it. <laughs> As he feeds the busy ravens, I should never. I know. 